Uh, I hope you are safe and healthy. Today I am going to uh, uh, give you the brief about how to prepare a project report for the antenna project. And for that, you have to follow certain steps. I am going to explain you uh, how you can uh, make a plot readable as well as uh, what kind of things you have to incorporate in the word file. So I am uh, going to discuss that uh, today uh, with the lecture. I'm sharing the screen with you and you can now see uh, how uh, what are the steps that you need to follow. So now uh, I am going to open one project and here I have to write first of all the project title. So I am writing here objective. So this is a PET. The objective is design and development of the dual. This is my objective. Everybody has to write the first as the objective. Then what you need to do is you have to uh, show the model. So let us start the model. Take snapshot of this design and then not like you do not need to directly uh, take the snapshot like this. Like it will give you uh, it will. Uh, uh, take the picture uh, of entire window, but you need to only incorporate the model. So for that, we are going to use clipping tool. You can use any tool, uh, whichever is convenient to you. But make sure that uh, you are taking a uh, good photograph of this, good, good snapshot of this, and without uh, uh, it should look like this. So uh, you can see here the, the picture. And that gives me the uh, very good uh, view of the patch antenna. It is a dual band antenna. Now here, in this case, when you consider this uh, snapshot, uh, when you take this snapshot, you have to mention here the dimensions. So for that, what you need to do is you have to go in print and then take the snapshot. Uh, roughly, I am showing you that, to say for example, this length is suppose 5 mm or whatsoever i don't know what is the length right now but this is just for an example suppose it is a say for example it is a 10 mm then you have to show like this in the figure itself that these are the dimension of this so now you can see that uh, this is the dimension. Now I can take again this copy and then I will put this in the word file. So, this is how you have to take snapshot of your uh, model of the antenna of, uh, and you have to show each and every dimensions. Okay. You have to mention here what is this length, what is the width of this, like that. This is just for an example, you have to do it for your design. So this is the first step you have to uh, incorporate. Then after, you have to go into the, uh, this is my model in HFSS. Now I have simulated already and I want to, uh, in, uh, I want to take the uh, first plot, I want to check the first plot, that is, this is a, uh, which is a S11. Now, this plot you do not need to take directly because here the font size is very small. If you see the font size, you can, if you want to see the, if you want to check the what is the font size, then you have to click on this font like this. And then you have to double click on that and you can see the font. Here the font size is 9. So you have to keep it minimum 16. So I am choosing it to 16. And, and then I will apply. You can see the font size is increased here also in the frequency window. Uh, frequency scale you have to go again in the font and then you that also you have to change and let's change it or change let's see ah. so 
So in this way, you can see the font size is changed now for the X scale and Y scale. Now we have to uh, increase the width of this line, which is nothing but our S11. So you can choose, uh, you can double click on this line like this, like this. And then when you double click, you can see the line width that you have to increase and keep it minimum three. So you see the graph like this. Now what you need to do, you have to first of all show the bandwidth as well as you have to show the resonating frequency for that. You have to click, right click on the plot and you have to go in the, uh, you have to select add marker. So we have two peaks here with minimum return loss. One is at 3.52 and the other is uh, 5.04. Now you have to uh, end the marker and you can see the marker position now. You can change the font size of the marker also by selecting like by like this. Okay. Now we want to see what is the bandwidth. So for that you have to again right click on the plot and go to the marker. Add Y markers. So when you add Y markers, you have to drag this line up to 10 dB. So here you can see this is a 10 dB, right? You have to you can exactly make 10 dB like this, or you can double click on that. Huh. This is giving me the two markers. So this should be uh, your graph. Now you can take snap uh, snapshot of this using the, again snip print tool or any other tool. Doesn't matter. Or you can copy the bitmap image and you can paste here. So you can see that this is a giving you very good plot of the thing, right? Still, you can increase the uh, you can or uh, like you can try your own method in order to uh, present the result better. So this is our result. Now let us see what next we have to present here. So the next one is a uh, 3D polar plot and for that you have to again go into result, create part and report and in that you have to choose 3D polar plot. In 3D polar plot you have to select the gain. So here is the gain, gain total in dB. So this is how you have to select the gain, new report and right. So this is my gain plot. Now you can see here the axis I mentioned, okay. Now what you can do is this font size is very small. So what you can do, double click on this and you can go into the scale where you have to select auto, okay, and then try to apply. So you can see here, now the, this is little bit change, okay. You can try different option and you can increase the scale and you can increase the font size also. Try it out and uh, try to uh, have a good plot which is readable. Okay. Now let us again take the snapshot of this. Or you can directly right click and copy image and then you can paste it. This is the, do not directly paste it, paste it in the paint or with the help of a snipping tool. You see this. And we can crop here whatever we require that much only we have to select. This is the selection copied again and so this should be your graph. Okay. This graph also you can change it. I think this is enough. This should be the at least this should you should uh, this much things you should incorporate in your design. You have to um, 
mention here the design equation and calculation also which i am not mentioning here but we have to do uh, in pen and using pen and paper take the photograph of your calculation and then you have to upload it uh, on the google classroom along with this you have to mention here your id id number uh, your name and uh, this is one file which uh, this is a document file that you have to upload the second thing is uh, uh, you have to upload ADT file or .hfss file of your project design so this is how you have to prepare your project report and try to uh, finish your project as soon as possible college will not be working on monday onwards till uh, 28 march then after let's see the situation depending on that but you have to uh, complete the project in order to get 15 months because 10 months will be assigned from the laboratory uh, experiment and 15 months will be assigned from the project submission so if you will not be able to complete your project you will get zero months so uh, like now you can understand the seriousness of project and please try to complete it and try to upload it on a before 13th month